is it just it flies under the radar is it people just don't know like you have a model they have a system they don't have one of those or is there something else okay so there's two reasons number one let's just talk about the general population right but you probably had never even heard about land investing until you met me why is that well if you go on hgtv or the diy network you're not going to see flip this land but the four pictures raw land the after pictures raw land it's boring right yeah um, if I talk to a financial advisor and say, oh, I'm looking at buying a piece of raw land, I'm like, why are you buying raw land? It doesn't cash flow. It's negative cash flow. You got to pay property taxes. So your typical land investing strategy is land banking. It, it's a hockey stick model. It's really, really flat. And then all of a sudden development comes and it hockey sticks up. So there's very few people that want to be negative cash flow on a piece of raw land investment. So it's very non-traditional. Now, the way that I'm doing it, it's like almost like a business. So then the second thing is, well, why aren't private equity groups or hedge funds or big money institutions in this? Because it's too much money for this niche. So if my average deal is $2,500 or $3,000, well, you know, if you say, hey, Mark, I'm going to give you a billion dollars, go deploy it. I can't deploy it. It's too big. Now, if I had a billion dollars to deploy, like billionaires do, you know, you think about Ted Turner, Warren Buffett, John Malone, the hedge fund manager for the Red Sox, right? They're buying billions in dollars of, of acreage, but they're buying productive farmland and they're making 8% of their money, which they're very happy to do. But if you want to make 300 to 1,000% doing what I'm doing, having a billion dollars is too much. You can't deploy it. 